Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm an engineer here at CSU. Today, I want to walk you through the features of our new Kaisu system, the fastest, simplest way to program an industrial robot. Like most systems, it uses a pendant, but it also has a unique controller, which gives the user complete control over the robot's six degrees of freedom. It's similar to a collaborative robot, but rather than physically grabbing the robot's end effector and moving it around, you grab it virtually with the controller's trigger. You can then push, pull, and rotate the robot into any position. The frame of reference constantly adjusts to my orientation. That's what makes the system so special. It works just like you think it would. If I stand facing the robot and I want the end effector to move away from me, I push it away. If I want it to come closer, I pull it closer. It really doesn't matter in what orientation I stand, the robot will follow, and I never have to think backwards. The trigger is also proportional. So if I hold it down all the way, I get a one-to-one -one adjustment. But if I hold it down just a small amount, I get finer movements for more precise control. The controller also has a joystick for fine adjustment. If I think of the trigger as grabbing the end effector, I can think of the joystick as nudging it. It works exactly the same way as the trigger. Push it away, it moves away. Pull it towards me, it moves towards me. If I want it to go up, I orient it up, and push it up, it goes up. Down, it goes down. It knows exactly what I want it to do. The system includes a host of useful movement features. Translation only mode, rotation mode around the tool center point using the trigger, Rotation mode using the joystick. And single axis rotation. Our entire focus is on ease of use. The UI has only three tabs, program, run, and settings. That's it. I can add joint moves, linear moves, path moves, toggle I.O., or add simple logic operations, such as if statements and loops. I can also use the UI to change reference planes and bases. Now let me show you how to write a program. Let's pretend I have a pick and place or machine tending application. I want to load a piece of stock into the lathe truck. I'll just move the end effector to align it with the pin, Then I'll press a button on the controller to save the point. If I have the chuck already set up, I can press the button on the UI and squeeze the trigger to move to that point. And with the joystick in tool mode, I can use the joystick to slide it into the chuck. In just about a minute, I've written a program to load a piece of stock into my machine. Testing and running a program is safe and intuitive. The user controls the speed of the robot by squeezing the trigger. Programming time is a fraction of what it used to be. With Kaisu, I can write an application for machine tending, welding, material removal, or painting, all in a few minutes. 
This system has often been compared to collaborative robots. Collaborative robots are easy to use, but they're often slower and have smaller payloads. Kaisu can be used with any size robot. Large, small, fast, slow, it doesn't matter. It is also compatible with several major robot brands. Also, I don't have to be right next to the robot to program it. I can stand outside a safety enclosure or control it remotely from any distance. It can also be used as a remote control device for hazardous environments, as a lift assist, or for applications like painting where the user's hand motion needs to be followed exactly. In our machine shop, we have high mix, low volume, and constant part changeover. Long programming times have made robots completely impractical for us. With this system, our machinists wheel the robot over, and within minutes, they write their own program. And we've never sent them to robot training. Simple programming with Kaisu means that thousands of new applications are now available to end users and robot integrators.